Today is the beginning of Library Week here in Korea. Since last year, April 12th has been designated as Library Day, followed by a week-long celebration to raise awareness and appreciation for books and libraries nationwide. Korean literature has been drawing attention on the global stage lately, with some even calling it the K-book phenomenon. Our culture correspondent Song Yujin looks into what sets Korean books apart. 2024 has so far been a great year for Korean books. Last month, Kim Hye-sun became the first Korean author to win the U.S. National Book Critics Circle Award. Lee Geum-mi achieved another first for Korea by being shortlisted for the prestigious Hans Christian Andersen Award, while three Korean picture books won trophies at the Bologna Ragazzi Award. Novelist Hwang Seok-young's Mater 210 has also been shortlisted for the 2024 International Booker Prize. This success stems from Korea's decades-long efforts to export its literary works. Since the 2000s, we've seen a surge in Korean literature exports, especially after author Hangang's 2016 Man Booker International Prize win. The evidence is domestic publishers establishing dedicated departments dealing with copyright and intellectual rights of Korean authors, an increase in contracts with major overseas publishers, and minimum guarantees for Korean authors soaring from four to six digits. The numbers don't lie. Translation requests for Korean literature to the Literature Translation Institute of Korea jumped more than 20-fold in 2023 compared to 2014. What makes Korean literature appealing is the blend of distinctive yet relatable themes. Korean literature offers a unique perspective shaped by Korea's historical, political, and societal contexts, such as it being a divided country, which attracts international readers eager to explore something new. Many readers often try out Korean literature through their love of Korean dramas and films. But what attracts them is how authors incorporate relatable themes like human rights, environmental issues and challenges facing the younger generation into their unique storytelling. But captivating themes aren't enough. Skillful translation is a must to captivate international readers. A great translation preserves the emotional depth of the original by understanding both the author's narrative and the nuances of the target language and culture. That's why the Literature Translation Institute of Korea has been running its Translation Academy since 2008. Notable graduates include Sora Kim Russell and Yongjae Josephine Pe, the translators of Mater 210, as well as Anton Ho, who translated Jung Bora's Booker Prize-nominated work, Cursed Bunny. Looking ahead, as the majority of translated Korean works are currently commercial fiction, introducing long-standing classics could ignite even more curiosity and interest in Korean literature. Song Yujin, Arirang News.